<laughs> Me and Can the Caravan. <laughs> So we are three and a half hours out. I slept for the first six, so I'm refreshed and feeling good. I know the trip's going awesome. Um, got a lot planned today, heading straight to our place and then probably to the gym right away too. So, um, a lot of new sites right now. What are you thinking? Well, we're gonna train chest with Hunter when we wind up there. Um, drive went by pretty quick, so we left at midnight kind of drove through the night Dylan drove while Brett and I kind of crashed back and forth um, now Brett's driving um, we're what you say three hours out yeah. and uh, like you said we're gonna get there probably eat a pre-workout meal and go straight to the gym um, we got many many busy days planned ahead of us so we'll keep you guys updated and have lots of fun What's up guys, just getting to the Airbnb. Check this place out, I'll walk you through it. We're coming in from the garage. Got this sweet kitchen all set up in here. We brought our own rice cooker, of course, bodybuilder things, some food, of course, some rice and grinds, some carb HD, pre HD, all that good stuff, some protein, rice. Obviously we got our proteins, chicken, beef, all that good stuff in the fridge. Here's the living room, got a little mini bar that probably won't get used too much. Couch, big screen, sick pool table. And we got a big bathroom here. We have an extra bedroom with two twins in here. Go down the hall. Dill's here all the way at the end in the master. Big screen. He's gonna fill up the big closet before we leave here, it seems like. <laughs> I got the bedroom here next to Dill. It's a sweet little queen. HD. All my gasp clothes all set up in here. You come back out. Go find Brad. See what he's doing. We'll go check out the pool before we find Brett. So you got a sweet pool out here. Nice grill. Big screen. Chill area. You already know. Hot tub. Swimming pool. The works. Brett's in here. Check out Brett's bedroom. He's right by the garage. See what this fat head's doing? Putting on his gas clothes. Oh uh, yeah. Sorting things out. So he's got a queen bedroom similar to mine. Another big screen. Full bathroom. Full bathroom. This place is pretty dope, guys. This trip to Dallas is gonna be fun. What's up, guys? Uh, here at Destination, my home away from home. Quite literally, I've been here like two weeks out of the last four weeks. But uh, I had to come back up for this weekend because I have my two boys in town. Newly minted IFBB Pro, Martin Fitzwater, hey. and my boy Brett Wilkin. Uh, really excited to be training with them. Uh, Martin's kind of in my shoes that I was in last time I trained with them, and he's like a week, week and a half post show. So. Uh, he gets to be the one that's uh, weak as a kitten and playing it easy today, and then me and him are gonna beat the shit out of each other. So, uh, it's gonna be a good day. We're training push, and then, uh, yeah, it's gonna be like a little training camp for me. They got in here, uh, I held off training until they got into town, so gonna grab a full training cycle with them push, pull, arms, and legs. Uh, and then, you know, outside of the gym, looking forward to it just as much, getting a little, uh, little meathead kumbaya going for the next four days, so. <laughs> So we just got off 12 and a half hours on the road. Um, actually chose to do the trip of driving from Denver to Dallas. 
kind of just the, you know, get the experience, you know, camaraderie with the gym owner, J Dylan Armbrus, so he's out here too. You guys, the gas crew came up last year. Um, we had a great time, so we wanted to return the favor, come down here, get some great training with Hunter here, and then just, you know, see what's all about down here. I know this is my first time in Texas, um, and it's the first time I've seen Destination Dallas, especially gas in the headquarters. So, uh, really looking forward to this weekend. Um, I know Mr. New IPV Pro here, Martin, is that just as excited? Yeah, man, uh, this is one of the biggest moments for me. So this is my favorite company in bodybuilding. Um, as you guys know, I'm 23, just a baby. So um, I'm still a fan. I'm getting to train with my best friends, but I'm also like a little kid getting to train with the coolest bodybuilders in the world. So this is uh, just a dream come true. And uh, this is a perfect way to start my IFPB career. Um, just growing with the boys. So this is gonna be a fun weekend. So a little blurb real quick. Whenever you're backstage with people and leading into shows, don't be assholes. Me and Martin met uh, backstage slash heading into uh, Junior USA. Yep. Junior USA's uh, two years ago, and he actually came out to eat with us afterwards, and uh, we've kept in touch ever since, and call him one of my good friends now. So never would have happened if you uh, would have been a standoffish asshole backstage. So don't do that. That's also how I know Brian is from shows. So all my good friends are from bodybuilding shows. So. Hey. Be nice. So good, good vibes only. Still be separated all over the nation, but when you get back together, it's just like you kicked off. So we're back at it, and we are excited. Let's do this. so hard to say. It's so hard to say. I'll be the first one to say changes except the weight on the bar or the amount of reps we do and I can speak for them when they say they completely agree with me <laughs> no questions <laughs> asked no, no, no muscle like confusion that. what's that no muscle confusion no mu <laughs> muscle confusion get the fuck out do, the muscles have brains? <laughs> do they get confused if your muscles are confused that just means you're confused like, let's be, let's be honest, let's be honest, dude. So, if whoever watches this video is the same person that takes all the chalk blocks and destroys them into dust, stop that shit. Leave it in the box. Way less messy. And you get more chalk on your hands. So many chances, let's go. So many opportunities. Here we go. Yep. Let's work. Let's go. Yep. Come on. Yes. Good. Yes, sir. Yes. Stay in line. Good. Good. Now we work. Now we work. Yep. Come, Come on. Come on. Another. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Push. Finish. 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 Good. 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 Yes, sir. I hope I didn't block your camera. No, no. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something like you. Something fancy? Yeah. Yes. Report. Ah. Good, Martin. Here we go. Yes, sir. Ah. Come on, one more, one more. Chest, Press. Chest to the chest, to the chest. Good. Ah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Are you 
chest. Big chest. Good. Yep. Swing through the back. Good, honey. Good. Couple more. Yep. Yep. One more. Yep. Be perfect. Be perfect. Yep. yep. Come on. Good. Good. Let's go. Let's go. Sounded Latin there, right? <laughs> Let's go. Get up there, get up there. Drive. Good. Good. Work that. One more. One more. Happen. Make it happen, bro. Close the grip. Good. Yep. Good. There we go. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. There's eight. Come on. There's nine. We'll make ten happen. Don't Be let perfect. me help. Chris. Yeah. That's it. One more. One more after that one. Let's go, Brett. Let's see. Chris. Do another one. I'll follow you again. Come on, go! Yes, sir, that's the ref right there. Good, you're done. Yeah, yeah, so um, coming out of the show, like you said, I'm a week and a half post-show um, with diet and stuff. I've been kind of consistently bumping up food a little bit um, from the baseline diet of what I had a week out. Actually closer to my two weeks out because I pulled food really hard to make weight. Um, so I'm, I'm back up a good bit of weight, but due to the fact that my body responded, I'm just soaking up calories now and then slowly throwing in cheat meals just for extra calories. Be who I am in the sense of like they showed me what I didn't want to do. So. They were kind of wild, crazy, had kids young, kind of were into the party and drinking scene. And I knew I was like bound for something that was important. So first I started out in pharmacy school. Um, when you guys first met me, I just finished up, um, decided that that wasn't for me. I didn't like the career. Um, and I just decided that bodybuilding was what I wanted to do. And so I kind of put my whole self into it. And uh, you know, you met me when I was 20, I'm 23 now and I'm a pro. So. You know, it took three years of really hard work, but at the same time, it was just something that was easy because I was all in and I love bodybuilding with all my heart. So it's just something that I did every single day. You know what I mean? Come on. Ah. 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 Come on, bud. Come on. Work. Ah. Yep. Oh. Oh. Five, six, five. Yep. Good, right? Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> Finish, 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 finish. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Just one more. Come on, come on, come on. Up. Good. Good. Control, control, control. Nice job. You. Let's go. Let's ride. Yep. Yep. 
Mm -hmm. Perfect. <coughs> Easy. Come on, Brett. Go, Brett. Let's go. <coughs> there it is. Come on. <coughs> Up. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Come on. <coughs> there it is. Die. A little more. Yep. Yep. Oh. <coughs> nice job. Yeah, just consistent with it, man. Like, like you know, when you're in Denver last year, it's just shit. My goal was every month to keep getting better, and then for me, it's just a size game. So, bigger, bigger, bigger. But strategic about it. And we're only doing like two pounds, but two pounds, three pounds a month adds up. So, I took this whole year off to just focus on getting up into those weights. I'll be competitive on the open stage. So now we're there. A little bit more this winter and the next year will be ready so really excited for what's to come not only myself but the good support group i have around me my training partner my wife you know dylan from the gym you know they envision they see you know i've only gotten better as i've gotten bigger a lot of people can't say that as they get bigger they blow up their waist something like that for me my physique has gotten better as i've gotten bigger so we strategically took off 2020 before the corona anything it's like i'm not competing this year i'm just going to improve so, focus has been, you know, great training sessions, a lot, a lot of food, but increasing at a matter that you're not killing your appetite, you're not getting sick of food, more so we just, we knew what the overall goal is, you know, 240s on stage next year, so we're going to make, we made the improvements all through this year, and then lead into the winter this winter too, so, like I said, just be strategic, consistent, and you got to work hard, <laughs> that's the main thing, you got to work hard. Consistent. Yep, shit. find your groove. Good shit, good shit. Couple more. Yeah. Uh, let's go. Good. One more. Now we're working, now we're working. Right. Uh, Got another. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Yep, yep. Come on. Yeah. Nice shot. Man. That's sick. It's a good feeling. No, you're better. And you already beat guys that are going. <coughs> yup. There he is. Up. Oh, he's tight. Keep him moving. Go. Dead rat. Come on. Yup. 12. Come on, we're in 15. We're in 15. Up. Yup. Yeah. Let's go. Oh. 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 Uh, so it, yeah, if I was gonna continue to do this training and it was me, I'd probably move on from this. Mostly because I need more development in my chest versus my arms. Um, all of it needs to come up actually, like my chest and arms and, and delts are the weakest part of my body. Um, but I would say that my chest is the weakest portion of it all. So I'd probably move to something that I would be able to get more of a connection in my chest versus my tricep. things 
it gives you illusion of more width than anything. So I feel like lateral delts is something that a lot of people neglect. Um, something that we've oriented in Brett's training that's made a big difference in his shoulders was I've always been a big lateral raise guy and he's always been a presser. So we've actually pulled him away from presses and by adding more lateral delts, it's really rounded his delts out more and gave him the illusion of more width, which brings a lot of pop to his physique. And I feel like that gives me a good illusion of width too. Um, you can ask Brett what he thinks about it though. Yeah, and the main thing there, I mean, the wider you are up top, so even, you know, quarter inches, whatever, it's gonna make your waist look a quarter inch smaller. So if you're somebody that doesn't have a tiny waist, how you're gonna make that waist look more, you know, it looks smaller, is making your bigger up top and bigger at bottom. So leg sweep, also shoulders width too. So laterals, laterals, laterals. We're doing a shit ton of them and they made a huge difference for sure. Yeah, it's awesome today. So tired though, man. I think I've been up for, uh, I don't know, 48 hours or so. <laughs> while Brett and I slept so that we knew, we knew we'd get a good training session in while the old man drove us. <laughs> He's like dad. I sound like a couple fat dogs wheezing in the in the truck, you know, driving down the road. <laughs> yeah, he said at one point we were uh, in tune with our snoring. <laughs> if, you're in snoring if you're in snoring, you're doing off season. Yeah. Half set of hacks and like a set or two of rows, but I noticed it was posing. Yeah. Posing, I was gassed when we got done. And it took me like 20 minutes to get my breath back, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, guest posing at Dylan's show. Uh, obviously, I'm a Texas boy, so Houston's below sea level. And then Denver's called the Mile High City for a reason, obviously. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, honestly, I was going out there kind of expecting to be like hooked up to oxygen or something uh, after I'd done guest posing and didn't need that, but definitely took me like 20 minutes to catch my breath and uh, definitely was gasping during the uh, little speech I tried to give after I got done. So, it was a good time though, for sure. Um, I'm on a decently strict plan, so like today, um, we I cheated on my diet this morning and ate pancakes with these guys, um, just because we were driving and stuff, and then I had two clean meals, then I had another clean meal post-workout, um, then I'll eat tonight, um, and I'll try to keep it semi-clean, and then tomorrow I'll probably eat mostly clean the whole day. Um, maybe one meal that's kind of dirty um, and kind of continue that through the weekend and, and into the, the next week and then when I get home it'll be all clean once we get back and kind of get rolling. I'm taking, like I said earlier, taking this off season to make sure I'm focused in that. What happened last year is I kind of got away and started eating too much. Like, I would do cheat meals on the daily because I can get away with that. I still maintain it pretty lean and still put weight on. But what happened was I was getting super inflamed and then my appetite went to shit. So what happened was I had a, you know, a barrier on weight and I plateaued on weight and I couldn't go any higher. So that's when I decided, you know, that's when I did this little mini cut to come down to where I am at now. And then now I'm able to push back up and I'll go past that weight before. So that's my biggest advice. Like I said, I thought that, you know, last off season, I was all about, let's just get as much, you know, dirty food and it really matter, you know, just kind of get calories in. Um, it kind of worked, but then you reach a plateau a lot sooner because of the inflammation of, you know, the cooking oils from restaurants, things like that. So this year, like, honestly, I felt mainly because of COVID a little bit too, but I've only eaten now probably you know, three or four times. So, and I've seen my most progress by eating clean with large amounts. So I would highly suggest doing that. Thank you so much. We need to have our jailer when we do some uh, barbecuing. Don't we, Nick? Yes. Absolutely. Super uh, stoked and glad that you guys all came and it's good that you can hang out together and socialize and have some fun time together. You know, and help us up a little bit for the for the weekend and some good workouts at the destination and uh, some uh, fun uh, fun times in uh, in the Texas environment. Maybe go shooting and stuff, and uh, and then we go uh, eating again on Saturday. And uh, yeah, enjoy the food. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.